Hello, my name is Matt Broomhall. And I'm John McCormick. And the two of us work for Tiski Limited, an expert provider of Microsoft Dynamics solutions, including Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Microsoft Dynamics Nav. And today, between the two of us, we're going to show you an integrated demonstration between the two applications. Today I'm going to be playing the part of a salesperson uh, working for Tiski, and uh, we just so happen to be Tiski bike manufacturers uh, who sell bikes into the industry. And every day when I come into work, I take a look at my dashboard tailored specifically for me, and we can see some information in here that's uh, not going to fill me with great uh, news. But what we can see is we can see that there's a sales pipeline, which is looking pretty healthy. Um, there's an awful lot sat at the develop stage that we might be interested in. We can see the sales leaderboard, and that's not looking so great. Our, our two key salespeople are uh, by far a long way ahead of uh, anything that I've uh, got yet, but, but my pipeline might give me some confidence that I've got some chance of pulling that back. And uh, we can see that I'm the only person that's lost any deals. So I really need to make the next uh, few weeks count so that I can uh, maintain my uh, uh, ability to be one of the top salespeople at uh, Tiski. I can also see customers on hold. Now, House Fraser and Revel in hard drives, oh, I'm not really doing anything with them those guys at the minute, uh, so I'm just going to leave those where they are, and uh, maybe I'll panic a bit more if I'm doing something with them. But I do know that I've got a meeting uh, tomorrow with Baxter's Biscuits, one of my biggest opportunities in this pipeline. And you can see that by drilling through to that chart, I can see the records that make it up, and you can see the data in line with the chart that we're working with. If I click into one of these segments, it filters the uh, list, and I might just want to see that based on the estimated revenue, for example. And you can see that there's a huge opportunity here for £400,000. If I click on that, I can see that actually that's the Baxter Biscuit solution that I'm uh, working with tomorrow, and that's just a single, uh, single record. So I'm going to open those guys up and take a quick look at where they are. And we can see that they're currently sat at the develop stage. So let's see what I've got to do uh, to be able to move these guys forward. So currently they uh, uh, we're selling them 100 touring bikes. We've worked out who we're competing against. We've worked out who the stakeholders are within the organization. Let's sell them some bikes. Great. So once I've uh, done all of the um, activities within this stage, I can move it on to the next stage which is where we start proposing what we're going to do. So I'm going to say that we've identified the sales team, developed the proposal, even completed an internal review, and we're waiting to present the proposal to them tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, save that record, and uh, I'm going to uh, go to bed, and the next day I'm going to wake up and take another look at my dashboard. You can see that things have changed here. So I've still got the uh, unfortunate news that I'm uh, uh, still not the top salesperson yet, but you can see that the pipeline has changed uh, as I've moved a significant proportion of my opportunities from the develop phase into the propose phase and making this nice big purple section here. But the bad news is that Baxter's Biscuits is on hold and that's going to cause me some severe problems because this is one of my biggest opportunities and I want to be able to work with them but someone in the finance team has put them on hold within the RP system which has sent that information across the CRM showing me they're on hold and that we need to do something about it. So I'm going to use another tool that we uh, use here at Tiski called Link uh, to uh, contact them directly and you can see that uh, my last message I didn't quite get through to him as he was busy and uh, I'm going to chat uh, to John here, our finance guy, to try to understand uh, what the deal with uh, uh, Baxter's is. And uh, John can see uh, that it's a, a big deal, but he needs to go and chat to them and give them a credit check because it's such a big deal and we've never had a deal of this size with them previously. So he's going to use his ERP system to uh, uh, take a look at all of the details, he's going to chat to them, and in the ERP solution he has now released the customer um, so that I can start working with them again. So if I refresh that data, you can see that now Baxter's has moved uh, off hold, enabling me to move forwards with the opportunity um, to uh, begin uh, working with them in more detail. So let's just open up the uh, a huge order that I've got again. And uh, further down the list here, we can see that actually I've previously created a quote that I'm going to uh, present to them and uh, we've got all of the details in here but what we can see is that I've not selected a ship to address so I could type this in while I'm sat with the customer uh, with my CRM solution in front of me but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it from a uh, address that I've previously captured for them uh, which just so happens to be their primary address 
that all looks right. I've got the uh, right details. We can see that we've got things like the payment terms in place and so forth. I'm going to activate that quote. And now I could at this stage if I wanted to print out, get them to sign something, but they've just said go ahead and create the order because they're keen to move this forwards. And we're just going to close down the opportunity whilst we're working with this. App. Now this is going to create me an order uh, that I can now submit across to our ERP system. We could work with this in various different ways from an integration perspective, but uh, from a sales perspective, in, in this uh, demonstration, all I need to do is hit submit order to transfer it across to uh, our finance system, which is where John will pick up the demonstration. Welcome to the Dynamic CRM to NAV integration demonstration. This is the Dynamics NAV client and you'll see that I'm logged in as a junior sales operator. This is my role center. Various relevant information has been made available to me, such as highlighting Baxter Biscuits as one of my customers on my hot list. There's useful bar charts and a queue which has listed that I have four sales orders dated today which require my urgent attention. These are dynamically updated uh, during the day to try and help me uh, see what's important, what needs dealing with now, to save me having to drill into empty lists and find out there's nothing to do. So this number says there are four sales orders to operate. I have this order from Baxter's Biscuits that I was forewarned of. Let's go and have a look at it. From here I can see it is indeed a substantial order. I can take a look at the information. That's the customer. This is the shipping. Various important fields have been highlighted and put onto the tabs of each of the subsections of the screen. I can see all the uh, lines that are on the order. And I can also see, most important of all, that the integration templates have applied a lot of default information for me, uh, such as the uh, payment terms code, the date that the invoice has to be paid, currency information, and so on and so on. Really, I only have to edit anything if the default values are incorrect on this occasion. But we will skip that for the moment and assume that the defaults are correct. So what we have to do is just ship and invoice this order. And that's done. And it's gone from my list of orders. I return to my role center. The number of orders awaiting processing has dropped from four to three. And the balance on Baxter's Biscuits has shot up. So it's nearly all gone. So we'll imagine the, pro the process of some time and we've received the uh, payment for the order. And we can go straight from the customer card. That's one way of doing it, straight to the cash receipt journal. We can inform the system which invoice has been paid. It is this invoice. Click OK. And the system will actually populate the payment for us, filling out the amount. So now all we have to do is post the, post the payment. And the system will also apply the payment to the invoice at the same time. And you can see that the balance on the customer has dropped to zero. If we close that, we return to our role center and we'll see that we're back where we began before the order was received. No balance, three active orders waiting to be processed. Thank you for watching. I'll now pass you back over to my colleague for the third and final stage of this demonstration. Back in CRM, we can see that we now have an invoice that's been created that's also been updated to show that it's now been paid and complete, which really ties the integration together as well as passing information from Dynamic CRM to your finance system, it's also then closing that loop by passing it back into CRM to give your salespeople and any other people who are in your organization that have access to CRM access to the full level of data that they require to do their jobs effectively. No longer locking information down into a single system, but also in the process reducing uh, duplicate of effort in terms of data entry, and also reducing the capability of mistakes as you move from one system to the next. Moving back to our dashboard, uh, we have more good news as we uh, take a look at uh, the updated data. You can see that I have now moved into uh, first place within our sales leaderboard as I've moved to 491,000 plus. We can also see that the differential has been updated on the uh, closed opportunities to show me winning far more than I uh, have lost uh, over this uh, period. And we can also see that the sales pipeline has been updated to demonstrate that the opportunity is no longer an open opportunity, but has actually moved out of that into a closed opportunity, reducing the values, but at the same time reflecting uh, what's just happened. We hope that you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, if you have any questions, please do get in contact with us uh, via the uh, website or via our usual numbers. Um, and uh, we hope that you will enjoy reviewing further videos in the future. Thank you.